Hi everyone, so we continue playing this uh, visual novel Trick or Treats and uh, uh, previous time I spotted this cat uh, it was lying like this and uh, it seems to be dead but uh, who know, it was an option uh, uh, and we will see it now so uh, when our hero decided to pick her up or ignore the cat. Previously I ignored it. So, and uh, we ended up uh, very s uh, with very sad story. Now I will try to pick her up. So, let's see what will happen. It is best to continue without waking her. So, probably it's only one way without waking this cat. That cat is dangerous. It's her fault that I ended up in this place and my friends are missing. But even knowing that for some strange reason I can't help but feel sorry for her. Even if it's uh, unnatural, it is still an animal. I then bend down to see her closer. She is unconscious and there is a thin line of blood coming from her mouth. Actually, I don't see any blood uh, on this picture. Axel, I'm a real idiot. I said to myself. At the same time, I cleared the blood from her mouth with a hand ch handkerchief uh, that I had with me. Fortunately, she doesn't wake up. Wakes up. Uh, I then close her mouth, ma uh, making her appearance a little better. Now she seemed to be peacefully sleeping. Yeah, and uh, uh, like uh, add, uh, to add for it, uh, he should uh, uh, place some coins on her eyes. After a long sight, I decided to pick her up carefully. I don't know what the power of this cat are, but if she brought me her, maybe she can return me to my world. World. So he realized that uh, he now in a not real world uh, or in the world uh, like uh, parallel of our reality. With her in my arms, I decide uh, that uh, the best thing I can do is to continue walking. 2.31 am. The same picture. Again, I find myself in the dark forest walking aimlessly. Only moving forward, but uh, it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. In my arms, in my, in my arms, I carry the cat, uh, which sleeps soundly. Voice, come here. Here you will be safe. I suddenly stop. It was probably easy to see the disbeliefs on my face at that moment. Axel, it's that voice again. I wish but to myself with no one to listen to me. Why, at least cat could listen to you now. Shortly after I found the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. It is a feminine voice. Oh, I skipped it, sorry. Shortly after I found the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. It is a feminine voice, soft and gentle, as if it belonged to, to a princess from a fairy tale, but I can't trust it. So. Uh, it's uh, like repeated from previous. Uh, am I really going crazy or is it this forest that doesn't make any sense? I don't know, but I don't like any of the two options. I don't feel the cat move in my arms. Oh, it's awake. I look down at her. Conf confused just to see how how she opens her red eyes suddenly. I become quiet at that instant. For a moment the two stayed 
motionless, staring into the eyes of the other. The red eyes of the cat are disturbing to me, but also there is something fascinating about them, something that attracts me. I lose myself in her eyes as if hypnotized, until suddenly she jumps with the intention of scratching my face. Whoa! Wow. My reflex is pushing her, at uh, the same time I jump back, turning my head to dodge her claws. I manage to dodge her attack, but in the process I drop my flashlight. Yeah, the same story. You better abandon this flashlight and forget about it. I panicked and, and acted clumsily. The flash uh, flashlight falls near me, lighting it up at three, three in the vicinity. As soon as it left my hands, I remember how dense this abnormal darkness is. Yeah, I see. I quickly pick it up, not even thinking before taking action. I then light the place where the cat was, wow, only to discover she had arched her body angrily, as if she feared an attack from me. Those red eyes stared at me. Shin shining with the light of the flash flashlight, as if they were jewels. Uh, reflecting a fearsome ha hatred and rejection towards me. My body freezes after seeing them. I can't even think. Wow. The cat then lights out uh, a thundersome mew similar to the one before but weaker. Also not any less frightening. There is no doubt uh, there is something wrong with that animal. Oh. It must be cursed. Everything is her fault. She must be some kind of e evil spirit, a pet of the wishes. Witches. I feel how panic seizes me. My heart beats quickly, beginning me to do something. My mouth is dry and my forehead covered with cold sweat. What should I do? Well, escape from, from the cat, confront the cat. I think uh, if he escaped from the cat, he will probably end up uh, as previous uh, time, but if uh, he will confront the cat, probably he will kill it and uh, he could uh, pick, it, pick it up again and maybe care to those uh, shed and uh, then relieve it to those spirit ghosts of women who killed the previous five victims. I will try to confront the cat. Yeah, but it's very dangerous to confront those animals because they uh, they have those sharp claws and uh, could uh, scratch your face. Uh, it's um, not the best option, but I will try. No, I should know this pair. I have to calm down and think carefully about what I should do. With that in mind, I take a breath deep and look again at her. Soon the expression in my eyes changed from fear to courage. Ooh. I realize it is only a cat, without a doubt a stranger or one, but my life is not actually in danger. That isn't a tiger star staring at me, but a simple cat. Apparently her only power uh, are those weird views. And maybe this posture. If she could kill me, she would have already done it. So I rule out that possibility. Her work must be transporting the next victim to this area of the forest, so unnatural and shady. After filling my lungs with air, I slowly walk towards the cat. 
wow it's it's uh, growing here me will get louder with every step but I don't let them scare me yeah <laughs> it's a shamed cat now since that I do not uh, turn back she surely takes a step back in my mind I smiled at the image the prey is now the hunter I look at her directly while advancing little by little her mules become weaker as if she was losing strength then I suddenly jump and take her in my hands she hardly resisted that at all Axel not too tough now right you look better like this she is trembling in my hands. She looks so helpless that I almost feel like a villain. Oh, poor animal. It's scared probably by Axel. Yeah, maybe it just was hungry. But I must not forget all that uh, she has done so far. It's her fault that I am in this place. No, no, it's not her fault. It's your fault. You became to here and decided to check your courage. So it's your fault or your friends. Who was reading this article about those victims? Who decided to go to the forest at midnight? Is it was a cat? She brought me here. Then if I kill her, would it be possible to go back? I said no. For a moment that grim idea crossed my mind. I had never killed an animal. The truth is that I can't be proud of myself in doing such a sin. But if I do, maybe this uh, legend could end here and now. Then what should I do? Probably you shouldn't kill this animal because uh, uh, as we left it uh, uh, before and we died uh, in the end, uh, so we should keep this animal alive. So just keep her captured. It is only logical the magic should die on with the cat. That should be my ticket back. If I kill her, everything would be over tonight and the legend would come to an end. Confident that uh, it was for the best, I tried to view it in my mind, but no matter how hard I force myself to see it, in the end I am unable to take the life of another living being. Even if it is a cursed uh, cat serving a witch, I don't feel good killing her. I think I'm too nice for my own good. So the only thing that remains is to keep her with me, hoping that sooner or later she allows me to escape. With nothing more to think about, I decided the best thing to do is to continue my path. Let's see if it was a good idea to save her life. 2.31 am. 41 I am sorry it's been a few minutes since I captured the cat again I find myself walking with her in my arms led by this strange voice how long have I been walking in this forest apparently not enough to make me good to make me go mad but it should be close voice don't be afraid come with me I will help you the voice sounds close this time it seems that I am going to in the right direction. I don't fully trust in it, but it's the best I have. At least at first glance, it seems a friendly voice. Sure. I'm completely focused on my way when I suddenly feel something bite me. Probably it was a flea from a cat. Or what the heck, Axel? I should in pain realized that the cat bite my arm my arm. Fortunately it wasn't dangerous bite, but it sure was painful. So maybe it tried to discourage you from this way. 
you shouldn't go uh, on on this voice. Uh, I know it. <sighs> Wish my distraction. Uh, she takes a chance to jump from my arms, falling a few steps away from me. Quickly, I set my gaze upon her furious, but soon something happens that makes me forget about my anger. Wow, wow, wow. Suddenly the cat is covered with a bright light. So much that it replaced the unnatural darkness surrounding the forest, stealing my breath. Under the light, its figure gradually changed until it came to be a cat and become a human figure. Where is this? Where is this figure? Wow, it's a girl. Pretty girl. I like it. No longer is there a cat in front of me, but a girl with incredible beauty. Yeah, it's good that we didn't kill her. I must really be going crazy. She has white hair and red eyes. I don't remember this dress of the cat. What's the problem here? She seems about my age. Wow. In other circumstances, I would have asked her out without he uh, hesitation. Just thinking about it makes me laugh to myself in my mind. Even at the age of mad madness, it seems some scenes about me will never change. She approached slowly toward me, one step at a time, with no fear. The girl then stares into my eyes with a slightly irritated face. Her lips are moving, she seems to be saying something, but I am unable to hear a sound. Axel, are you trying to tell me something? I bubble, still confused, too, with a face of uh, disbelief, so which surely made me look stupid. Go. Uh, uh, says the girl with a very low voice. I don't understand what she is saying. Axel, what? I can hear you well. I am still confused. Suddenly the girl pulls in a bad mood. What she did? Go. What's wrong with you? Are you deaf? Finally I could hear her clearly. And just in time because it seems her patient was about to end. Excellent. Okay, okay. Now I heard you. I said a nod. All of my astonishment from just a few seconds ago disappear when I see the ground attitude of the girl. Arrogant attitude. At least now I don't think she will bite me, I hope. The girl then showed with irritation. What the posture? Why she crossed her arms in this way behind her back? Go. What an annoying guy I had to find. Yeah, really, you find me? You find Axel? She said it's time. She placed a hand on her lips, making a pensive, pe pensive face. Axel. Wait, you shouldn't speak uh, ill of someone you have right before you. I was quick to respond. For a moment I feel annoyed at the thought that I have to teach manners to this spirit, or whatever she is. A pity so much beauty wa was stood uh, on someone so arrogant. The girl let out a snort of annoyance after hearing me. A girl, I'm sorry, it's a bad habit that I can't quit. She answered without sounding very repe repentant, clearly a false apology. After talking, she diver diverts her gaze towards the surrounding as if she was bored. I see. I replied annoyed I just met her and uh, I already feel I don't like her. Really? But anyway, that doesn't matter, I must not forget who this girl is. Yeah, it's former cat, actually. Yeah, and she wear, wears 
color on the, her neck. So I don't remember this color on the neck of uh, like the cat. It's definitely strange scene. She was a cat that start, started to tow. Anyway, at least could you tell me why you attacked me and my friends? Asked shortly after, acting more seriously. The greeting were over, it's time to get to the important stuff. Axel, and why did you bite me if I wasn't doing anything? Before I knew it, my lips moved asking another question. I cannot lie, I was angry. The girl then stares at my, stares at my face. She blinks with curiosity before speaking. Go. Does it hurt? The wound? She asks innocently. Actually, yes. I was quick to respond with annoyance. I didn't need to say more. Of course it hurts me, silly cat. She looks at me in silence for a few seconds until suddenly she approaches me without any shyness or fear. On second thought, how could simply human such as me scare cats and can turn into a person? Show me your wound, says the girl once uh, she stood right next to me. Her presence makes me nervous, this girl seems to not know what personal space is. As embarrassing as it sounds, I had never had a girl this close, if only it wasn't in this forest. I don't know why I shouldn't trust her, but strangely, something tells me that she has no bad intentions. Really? The girl is surrounded by a calm aura, something pure unlike anything else in the forest. In the end, uh, resigning myself with the sight, I show her my arm with the bite. Immediately the girl sets her sight on my wound. It will only take a moment, she said with complete confidence. Then she looks up into my eyes up. Could you close your eyes? Why she blushed? Her face covered with red, red blush. What, what happened? Why she should close his eyes? Probably she decided to kiss this wound. Who know? She asks as she blush, blushes slightly. I'm surprised to see that embarrassed face she has even if just a little. Then I sighed feeling something wasn't right. But there is nothing else I can do. Axel, okay. I said doing as she asked. I didn't know what to expect. For a moment I thought she would get naked or something like that. Yeah, definitely if she will dress down, if she will uh, if she will be naked, it uh, will easily curse your wound. So uh, stuck naked. But what kind of magic uh, can work only when you have no clothes? Yeah. I don't know, but my mind uh, sure, sure wanted to imagine that. Come on, Axel, keep your composure. Suddenly I feel something warm and wet touch my wound. Wow. Immediately I shudder. Wait, what are you doing? It's a stupid question, because I knew well what she was doing. She was licking my wound. You idiot, who said you could watch, was quick to respond the cat, with her cheeks red in embarrassment and her lips still close to my foot. She looked ab adorably troubled. I'm not sure that uh, cats licking could uh, cure wound. Uh, I know that uh, dog saliva consists some uh, ingredients so some some stuff which could cure wounds but uh, can it uh, box for humans definitely for dogs as sure but uh, for other species I'm not sure is it 
proper scene. And uh, the same about the cats. Who knows? Don't you see that I'm just trying to heal you? She then added in a bad mood. Axel, I sorry. I said blushing. Axel, I thought you would do something more extraordinary. No, I'm not sure. Is she a girl who can transform into a cat or a cat that can become a girl? Sorry to disappoint you, not being extraordinary enough. Murmured, uh, murmured uh, the girl at the same time she gives me an annoyed look. Red eyes shining with disgust. It is that, that I realize that the pain has disappeared. With curiosity I look where the wound was only to discover that now there is no trace of it. For a couple of seconds uh, I stay silent in great jewels. Axel, it seems that your treatment worked. I finally said grateful, still looking at the spot. But of course, I have experience healing myself. As for the girl closing her eyes and infanting her chest to show her pride. Actually, appreciate what she did, but I still wonder if she really had to lick to cure me. Axel, I understand, but who are you? The girl makes a small short with snort with curiosity after hearing my question. Then she tilts uh, her head and closes her eyes, making a, a thoughtful face. Seems I have now pres presented myself. She opened her eyes and gazed into me. Ashley, my name is Ashley. So that's your name. I expected something more extravagant. Extravagant. Uh, my name is Axel. By the way, have you ever been accused of witchcraft? Before I knew it, uh, I asked that question. I guess it wa was rather rude from me, completely like like in uh, in manners. But in but I must not forget for even a second that I am in this cursed forest. Ashley suddenly became silent. At plain sight, it was obvious she didn't take it well. She takes her time before responding. Yes, but that was long time ago. Then she closed her eyes and ex exhales, emptying her lungs. She seemed to be recalling something painful. Just seeing her made me feel guilty. I'm sorry, it was not my intention to make you remember it. I said slightly remorseful. remorseful. What, what, what the interest involved? remorseful. No doubt to be accused of witchcraft must have been a horrible experience. Ashley closed her eyes and nods uh, a couple of times. It's okay. It's not like I can blame your curiosity seeing where we are. Then she looks at me closely with curious eyes. By the way, how do you know about me? Perhaps uh, you are a s uh, sorcerer who has lived during these past centuries? She has narrowing uh, her eyes as uh, if she was trying to see the inside of my mind. What kind of question is that? No, nothing like that. As what right at the moment. I'm just an ordinary person. I am I admitted boring, but she didn't need to know that. It's just that there are stories about witches in this forest, but as you can see, the stories are not very convincing, or else I wouldn't be here. I explained, uh, trying to remove and doubt that Ashley may have. Again, she closed her eyes and nods. I understand. 
She pauses and looks me in the eyes. It's because of those stupid myths, myths that stupid humans come to this forest just like you. She's instead looking at me with rejection. Wait, what are you trying to say? Where to, where to blame? I replied, feeling offended, offended. Ashley suddenly looks at me, disgusted. Are you an idiot? Yes, if you hadn't come, my ex uh, existence would be nice and peaceful, instead of this chaos that it is every year. She said, ending with a sigh of frustration. But you are the one who caused causes all of this. I was quick to respond. I don't even bother to hide my anger. I can't believe what she says. How arrogant can she be? Ashley opens her eyes uh, wide, surprised. Then she looks at me with annoyance uh, in her red eyes. Do you not understand, stupid human? Definitely I don't like this girl. I am only trying to protect you. I got it. I got it after I died when I missed you, the cat. I died. This I, the ax Axel died because he ignored your corpse. Your corpse. Her words take me by surprise. Huh? I exclaimed incredulously. You attack me and attack my friends only to protect us? Yes. She simply replied at the same time she nods filled with pride and confidence. Okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Of here. I cannot believe how arrogant and self-centered this girl is. Centered, self-centered person. After everything she did did to me and my friends, I can't stand here any longer. Wait. I had only take a few steps when I heard her calling me. She sounded really worried. You don't understand the real danger you're in here. I stop in my track as soon as I hear, hear her. Real danger? I wish per feeling some doubts. Suddenly I sure it doesn't look like she is lying. Yes, I try to chase them away using illusions. Other times I hit them with my powers. And as a last resort I scare them directly as it was was in your case. Ashley confessed, blushing a little as if she felt embarrassed of uh, remembering. And why do you do that? I asked, confused. Something isn't right here. Ashley stares at me with her red eyes. If they continue with their curiosity, they will meet an evil entirely that will take their lives. What you say doesn't sound very convenient convincing. I immediately interrupted. The only evil entity here is you. Entity here is you. Ashley shakes her head in denial. You are wrong. I am the good one. Then she said looking into my eyes with a pure innocent in hers. Ha ha. I could only laugh at that moment. It had to be a joke. After doing all that you say, you are good. Don't laugh, I'm only trying to protect you, replied Ashley, furious while waving her arms. She then crosses her arms and gives me an unpleasant look. Do you expect me to believe that? I replied sarcastically. What she said made no sense. But somehow, she seems oddly convinced it was the truth. She was surely a bit wrong in the head. But it's true, you have to believe me. This time, 
she sounds really worried about me. I actually feel a little sorry for her. Ashley then stays silent, looking at me with puppy eyes. Heh, <laughs> cat with puppy eyes. It's funny. However, she soon recovers. Soon recovers her proud attitude. If you want, hold my hand. I won't harm harm you. She suddenly says. I look carefully at her. She has a very arrogant face, as if it was a great honor to be able to touch her. You want to. You want to do anything strange? I ask, distrustful. Distrustful, but after seeing her again, I don't think she was lying. Ashley nods, full of confidence. I promise you. I stare at her for a few seconds, making sure there isn't a trap. Okay, but why do you want me to hold your hand? Ask at the same time I extend my hand. Ashley opens her eyes, surprised after hearing my question. Then she stares at me with annoyance. Ashley, are you stupid? Obviously, to guide you out of the forest. This, she said just as she takes my hand in one quick move. I then find myself being dragged by this strange girl. But this is the opposite way from where the. Mel melodious voice comes. Yeah, it's actually the opposite way. You shouldn't to go to this voice. It's very dangerous. I knew it. Oh yeah, it's my bitter experience. I sat looking back for a second. I felt really curious about who she was. She was a cat. You ignore that voice. A charm man to make them her victims. Charms man to make them her victims. Think of it as a siren. 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 Ashley explained to in bad mood, with her eyes always looking to the front. It seemed she didn't get along well. Well with. Uh, however, that person or. Entity boss. Wouldn't you be the one uh, who collects souls of fools? I ask without thinking. I seriously need more experience when dealing with a girl. If only I were more popular. Ashley spots suddenly. She then turns at me, showing me a furious face. Showing me a furious face. You idiot! I already said I'm the good one. For a moment, I thought she was going to hit me on the on the head, but fortunately, she stopped before doing so, or beaten me again. Okay, okay. I meekly responded, as if I were a scolded child. But if you hit me, I will make sure to give you the worst. Digestion in your life. Yeah, I was constipated. You idiot! I don't eat humans. Rapidly, Ashley ended with an arrogant snort. 3:11 a.m. The same picture of the same forest. Several minutes had passed since I started to walk hand in hand with Ashley. At the beginning, I didn't not trust her at all, but the more time passed, the easier it was to believe her. I hadn't noticed before how comfortable her hand is, soft and pleasant to the touch. I blush just thinking about it, even if she is a witch, she is a girl too, right? Who know? Then I sighed. Come on, Axel. Composure, composure. With the every step, the curse of the forest seemed to weaken. The atmosphere was less oppressive every minute until finally I was able to forget about uh, that unpleasant feeling. Before I noticed, the darkness had returned to normal, feeling only empty. The rotten smells had disappeared without a trace. 
Now I could really say I was in a common and ordinary forest, even boring. But I could not be more grateful for that. Just a little more to get out, so let's keep moving. Then I set my sight on the back of Ashley watching her walk in silence. She was completely focused on the simple scene. If you are the witch from the leg legend, why are you helping me? I suddenly asked, not thinking twice before it. I was really intrigued by that. Ashley stops and turns, looking at me with an angry face. I'm not sure that uh, an angry face is like a uh, face uh, with not interesting look. She is not interested uh, in Axel. She, she, she is bored. Apathic, apathic look. Look with apathy. Idiot. Do you really think that all wishes are evil? She was right. The general image of wishes, witches, is not good, but it's not uh, as if stereotypes were trustful. Then she closed her eyes, making an annoyed face. It's true that I had supernatural powers, but I never used them to do harm. Ashley lowers, lowers her sight and pauses. Suddenly she looks sad. Mildly saying, mildly seen was to be born in the time of the witch hunts. That's why I was condemned. That explains it well. I feel that I can trust she is good. But there is still one more question. And how did you end up becoming a cat? Ashley immediately blushes. She was uh, so embarrassed uh, that it was almost adorable, almost. Well, before my execution, there was a cat watching in the distance, so I decided to transfer my soul to it. She explained, avoiding looking into my eyes. Of course, we now share the body we have like a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it has something to eat and a place to sleep. I tried to provide her with all those needs. And uh, in return, she lets me stay in her body. As she talks, she is blushing shyly. I see, I see. I think uh, it's a fair deal. I replied with a sincere smile. The trust, the truth is that I found it a little funny. It turns out that she is both a girl and a cat that answers some questions. Ashley closed uh, her eyes and uh, nods a couple of times. When she wants to, sh uh, to, she can be very cute. To bed, that happens to rarely. Not saying more, Ashley continue walking to the exit. This time I say in silence, all that remains for me is to escape from this place. 3.15 am Well, here we are, Ashley said just a few minutes after we've talk talked. She's in line, I can see the end of the forest in the distance. I had to contain my de desire to scream with joy at that moment. There must be two other humans close here, your friends. Go with them and return home, I hope that nobody else comes tonight. Ashley said, giving me a sudden farewell but strangely, she doesn't let go of my hand. She looks deep into my eyes. Amazed, I notice the gentleness that reflects on them. Can you make me a promise? She suddenly said with an honest voice. It was no joke. What is it? I asked, full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a witch. But after helping me to escape, I think that she deserved me to hear her request. And this legend. She then murmured to with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she asked for something like this. I want to, you to help me to keep people away. The legend will attract more people 
as in your case. I need to kill it to replace since a supernatural danger with a human danger. A human danger? So you want to scare them with ordinary dangers as thieves or furious, furious, ferocious animals? On second thought, there is a logic in what you asked. If you remove the element of magical and only leave the danger that exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nods and then looks into my eyes blushing. Yes, exactly. She said pleased. Okay, I'll do it. You can, re re you can rely on me. I responded with determination. I wanted to hear now how serious I was, that it was not a promise I would forget as soon as I got out of the forest. Thank you. Then she closed her eyes momently and inflates her chest with pride. You aren't as stupid, as stupid as I thought. I should have expected something like that. Hey, I told you not to talk ill of someone when uh, they are in front of you. I complained angrily. This cat, I mean this girl, simply will never change. After seeing my reaction, Ashley cannot help but, but laugh. I, I am sorry. <laughs> It's the first time I've seen her so happy. That made me blush. Ashley looked un unexpectedly adorable at that moment. My heart was nervously beating as if I was with a normal girl. Suddenly she stares at me and gets so close her face is less than an inch from mine. Again, she demonstrates not knowing what personal space is. But this time I don't know whether to do angry or thankful. Having her so close, a beautiful girl makes me very nervous. This is a farewell, she suddenly said. She then brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss. Everything becomes white at that moment, everything loses its color, everything is gone, everything, everything, everything is gone. 3.18 am. So, what's next? The moon. I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea of how I made it here, it here but this is no illusion. I'm bewildered as, uh, as uh, if I had been sl sl sleepwalking. Excel, Excel, friends. Suddenly I hear someone calling my name. But it's uh, not any strange voice. It's the voice of my friends who are looking for me. Hey, over here! I shout without a second of hesitation, with a bit of clumsiness clumsiness because of my confusion. Soon they found me and impatiently ran toward me. Where were you? The worry, the worry was killing us, Steven said with a face that I don't remember having ever seen before, before answering I rubbed my forehead. Within the forest I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something about before that I interrupted him. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I was just lost. The important thing is that we are all safe. Yes, you're right. Hey, don't you feel that we are forgetting something? Alfred mumbled, murmur, murmured. At the same time, he lowers his sight pensive. Suddenly a blurry image appears in my mind. It was white uh, and bright, but I can't remember more. However, that weak memory awakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in my, me. It was as if I had lost something, but what could it be? Anyway, we should go home. 
This has gone too far for a test of courage. I said with no intention of spending one more minute in this forest. They both agree with me. With nothing else to say, we can only return home. By the way, guys, we should write uh, on the page uh, to not go to the forest. Forget about the witches. Somebody might get lost there as it happened to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with the beast lurking around, before knowing it my lips move. Why did I say it? I have no idea, but something inside inspired me to do so. To, to be honest, I have no memory of the beast I speak of. All I can remember is that it has red eyes and white fur, but nothing more. Then I remember something. I think it was a promise I made to... Wait, to whom had I made that promise? I think about uh, it for a moment in silence, but in the end I can't remember a thing. No matter, all I know is that I got out and I will never come back here again. Finn. Yeah, white fin is exactly what we need. With the white screen. Excellent. And I'll the story and uh, I reached the white fin without any blood, without any death. So all seen a uh, uh, safe and seen in all happy and get saved. I uh, didn't hurt anyone. Yeah, that's exactly how fairy tale should end in. Okay, now I am sure that uh, it could be another uh, end of the story, but if we kill the cat, uh, we will end up uh, in the those shed uh, with witch and uh, uh, five previous uh, victims, so it's uh, better don't try this option. Who oh, no, knows? Maybe uh, I will try. I, I am interested in another variant, but uh, this is the best one. So, take care, don't hurt any animals. Bye for now.